this is the update review on the uh, Shadow 2. Uh, I put out an initial um, first impressions uh, on the range video of the Shadow 2, uh, followed up by a complete review uh, video. And in both of those videos, I spoke about reducing the single action and double action uh, pull on the Shadow 2. I found them both to be um, uh, quite heavy, mainly, mainly to double action, uh, as it was sitting somewhere around 10 pounds. Um, so I've installed a 13 pound uh, mainspring in here, um, so to reduce both the single action and double action pulls. For those of you who have not um, changed a mainspring on a pistol before, and in particular on a shadow, uh, I've got my shadow SP01 here prepped so that I can show you what to do. And the operation is identical to, uh, to that of the shadow 2. Uh, both guns are, are the same. Um, so, there are two pins you've got to uh, remove, uh, and to be able to get at those two pins, you've got to take off the uh, grip plates, so take both grip plates off, which then will allow you to knock out the lower pin down here, and then the upper pin right here. The upper pin holds in this backing plate right here, and that backing plate has got to be removed in order to allow, even, uh, even once the lower pin is out, to allow you to remove the mainspring. So once the backing plate is out, you'll be able to pull out the, the uh, mainspring through the bottom, swap out the mainspring, put the 13 pound uh, on there, and then um, you simply do everything in reverse, in reverse order, put the backing plate back in with the pin here. Um, and all that time, you do have to have the spring inserted. And so you can see it here, it's flush because it's it's in there and locked. It's got to be flush like that to allow you to put that backing plate on and then to put the final pin uh, in here on the bottom as well. That whole operation should take you no more than three minutes, um, you know, if you're doing it for the first time. Once I had the 13 pound mainspring installed, I used a, an electronic trigger gauge to measure the single action and double action uh, trigger pulls. Uh, I took 10 readings um, of each trigger pull, and that's how I got the average. So I've got the 13 pound mainspring in the Shadow 2, and I have uh, tried the single action and double action here, dry fire. Uh, it's quite nice, I can feel the reduction, but the uh, true test will be to take it out to the range and do some live fire shooting, and that's what I'm going to do right now. So on the range now, and going to see just what that uh, single action and double action uh, pull is now uh, that I've put in that 13 pound uh, spring. I already measured it and so I know that I'm looking at a, about a three and a half pound single action and a uh, double action of uh, seven pounds 13 ounces. Uh, I've dry fired it a number of times uh, so I have a good feel for what the trigger is like. Ultimately, the real test is, of course, coming to the range and doing some live fire. So, first thing I'm going to test here and then determine is just how smooth and how light that uh, single action is with that new 13-pound uh, spring. Pretty nice. The CZ triggers are so smooth that uh, you know that three and a half pound trigger pull feels a lot lighter. It feels more like a, a three pound, just under three pound trigger pull. Pretty nice. Okay, let's see what the uh, double action's like. Nice and smooth, and I definitely can feel the uh, reduction in the trigger pull. Okay, what I'll do now is I'm going to speed it up here and, and squeeze that trigger a little faster was in a match.
pretty nice. Let's try that one more time, double action. Seven, seven pounds, 13 ounces for the double action. And with this trigger being as smooth as it is, I'm quite pleased with it. it uh, it's very nice. I think I won't have a problem, uh, you know, with that first uh, double action round when I'm shooting in production. Um, I really think I'll be able to choose just about any target. The trigger is quite nice at that, at that, uh, at that weight. Uh, but again, I had hoped that with the 13 pound mainspring, the double action would have been reduced uh, down to around six pounds, but it's not. So I do have an 11 pound and 12 pound mainspring on order. And once I get the, those springs, I'll come out to the range again after doing some dry firing, come out to the range and see what it's like uh, live fire. I'm really hoping that uh, with either the 11 or 12 pound that I can get the single action down to about three pounds. It might even be a little lower uh, than that with the 11 pound mainspring. And ultimately, I'd like to have the double action somewhere between five and six pounds. And I'm really hoping that uh, either the 11 or 12 pound mainspring will do it. But once I do put those springs in, I'll be changing the firing pin spring and putting a lighter one in so to make sure that I don't have any light strikes with those lighter uh, main, main springs. I like that shadow too. This is an extremely nice pistol. Well, that's it for the range time. I uh, look forward to getting that 11 and 12 pound spring and then I'll report back uh, and let everybody know just what that uh, trigger has been reduced uh, to. Thanks for watching.